You know that the video is going to be awesome when you see some nice video editing skills. Hey everyone, I'm Laurencio and welcome to volume 4 of Racing Games for the Nintendo GameCube. Tube Slider feels like a generic ripoff of Wipeout. It feels like they took the Wipeout vehicles and put them in a hamster ball and called it a game. You get 16 vehicles, each with different stats, making them behave different on the track, or well, tube. You can race in normal Grand Prix tournaments or in time trials. The game gets pretty difficult in the latter stages. Some reviewers said that, that they had fun playing the game and that it's worth getting it. I didn't like it. I consider it generic and dull and don't recommend it to you. SRS is a Need for Speed Underground 2 clone. It has Free Room 2 and when playing Free Room the game reminds you of Need for Speed Underground 2. Everything looks similar to that game, but is made in a worse fashion. The cars handle worse, the way you get nitrous boost is worse, customization options are worse, the game tries some new things, like cop chases. In free roam you get chased by the cops and it can get annoying. And another nice addition are the character models that are nicely done and add to the charm of the game. Overall it feels like a ripoff of Need for Speed Underground 2. It's a cheap copy, but since Underground 2 is a masterpiece, this game is great too, even if it has its fair share of flaws and you can clearly see that it tries to clone Underground 2. Smashing Drive is an arcade port. Theoretically, it's a racing game, but practically it's dodge everything, smash into everything just to get to the end of the level. Even though the game has the same spirit as Crazy Taxi, the game is linear. And you don't always know where to drive, so you'll end up bumping into everything until you find your way to progress. And there are so many things on the road, you basically fight the traffic, not actually race someone. But on the plus side, the arcade controls make the bumping into everything slightly enjoyable. And there are lots of explosions and there are enough there, there's enough destruction to make you feel somewhat good. Even get power-ups like transforming your taxi into a monster truck or a car horn that explodes traffic. The game isn't bad, but you get easily bored while playing. It feels washed out, even if, on paper, I can't complain about the game. Our Racing Evolution is awesome. It has a plot, it follows Rina, a girl with driving talent, and the storytelling is awesome, having some nice CGI cutscenes that complement the already great graphics in the game. And while the story isn't memorable, it's good enough to keep you interested. Also while driving, if you bump into the other racers you will stress them and when the stress meter fills up, they will screw up and crash. The game has 33 licensed cars and some really gorgeous tracks. Overall the game is a hidden gem. With its great plot and jaw dropping visuals and nice controls, the game is like a beefed up enhanced version of Gran Turismo. You should definitely check out the game. It's awesome. Roadkill is a mixture of GTA and Twisted Metal, and the result is good. The main attraction of the game is the free road. You play in this post-pandemic world filled with gang fights. You can't go on foot, you roam the world within a vehicle, but even so, the map is big, varied, good looking and filled with ramps and other stuff that will make the experience enjoyable. Also the game mo motivates you to explore. Since by exploration you can find new weapons and blueprints for new cars. There are always gang fights going on when exploring, also the map has three zones, each with a boss. After defeating the boss in one on one battles, you unlock the portion of the map. The missions revolve around gang fights in vehicles, overall it's a nice game that does what it promises. It combines GTA and Twisted Metal into one game, and it succeeds. Having the deep, detailed field, free roam nature of GTA and that nice car combat mechanics from Twisted Metal. 
I consider this game a success. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. You have the link to the join button in the description. Also, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.